Now there ought to be a fruit cake or a plum cake for Christmas. I live in a country where you do not get alcohol. So this is my version of a non-alcoholic fruit cake. So let's get baking. Now to make a fruit cake we definitely need fruits. So here we have some dried fruits. We have glazed cherries, dried mango, cranberry, ginger, papaya, some dates, pineapple, black raisins and of course we have our orange peels. You can use the candied ones. I have just diced up some fresh orange peel. So let's get started. We firstly need to dice all these dried fruits into tiny little bits. Now that we've chopped up all our dry fruits, we're going to put it in a bowl. And we're going to soak it with some orange juice. You can use apple, cranberry, whatever juice you like. If you have rum, nothing like it. But I'm going to use some orange juice out here. This is about one cup of orange juice. And I'm going to let it soak overnight. Our fruits are nicely soaked overnight. We will transfer this to a saucepan. To this we will add in one cup of orange juice. half a cup of sugar, half teaspoon cinnamon powder, half a teaspoon of cardamom powder, one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg and one stick of unsalted butter. We're going to give this a boil and keep it aside for cooling. Now while the fruits are cooling, I'm going to chop up some walnuts. We will need around half a cup of walnuts. For the dry ingredients, I need one and a half cup of flour, half a cup of ground almonds, one teaspoon baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, one fourth teaspoon of salt, and half a cup of chopped walnuts. I'm going to mix this all up. To this fruit mixture, I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla essence and two eggs. I'm going to mix it up. And I'm going to add my dry ingredients to this that we had mixed up earlier. Last but not the least, we're going to top up some chopped walnuts. Give it a stir and we are ready to put this in a grease tin. We're going to grease up the pan and line it with some parchment paper and now put in the batter. And in they go in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius. Now you could put your batter into two 6 inch pans or like this into one 6 inch pan and the extra into two smaller pans. Our moist fruit cake has cooled and it's ready to be decorated. You can dust some icing sugar. On a cooled cake. And decorate it as you desire.
soft and moist fruit cake.